Imagine being hung, but not instantly dying. Well, welcome back, guys. My name is Haunted Faith, and I sound sick because I I, I, I am sick, but that's, but that's beside the point. Um, this is yet another Go Go Ghost Adventures uh, over overview of the Idaho, Idaho State Penitentiary. Over thirteen thousand co co convicts to got or were housed in this cell, and uh, and out of out of the whole state of, of Idaho, there were only eleven executions. Ten of them were at the penitentiary. A girl that the the Ghost Adventures uh, in like in like interviewed. She she said she got violently shoved by Raymond Snowden's cell, and I'll tell you who Raymond Raymond I will tell you who Raymond S Snowden is in just a second. Uh, and every time you go in there, a bunch of people say that you can hear constant work, like wrenches banging on stuff, hammers and stuff. But yeah, there's no plumbing. There's no plumbing in the building or in any like of the building, so that's kind of weird. Um. A news reporter was like was with some ghost hunters at the Rose Garden in the in the penitentiary, just sharing what the ghost hunt, what the ghost hunters could could catch on the news, and um, the news reporter saw, started feeling some pains like like on his head like like his head was being crushed, and um, he didn't know what he was feeling. He started feeling pain. So the ghost hunters took a, a picture uh, like of him. Above him was a solid orb about this big, about softball size. Um, and when it comes to housing people, like in the penitentiary, they would put up to eight people in one cell. Eight people. I had to count first. But uh, I probably still did it wrong, but who cares. Um, in the shower room... A man was a man was gang raped to death. Yeah, just imagine that in my head just scares the the living shit out of me. Um, Sean, an employee there, he actually closes the penitentiary down a lot. Said that uh, the door locks from the inside and 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 outside, but there's no little pocket or window. Like in the door, so if you lock it from the outside, there's no way to get like your hand in the inside, and um, so there's a little a main lock and a little lever that you can pull over and twist down. One night he locked it up from the the outside. No way to get to the inside of the locks unless there was someone left in there. But he checked and there was no one in there, and he came back the the the, the next day, and. Uh, he tried to open the door and he couldn't, so he actually had to go, go in a, a alternate way, went back to the same door, and it was locked from the inside. That is crazy. Um, and also, there is a breaker box beside that, 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 that door that he would see. Some breaker boxes, some, some of the switches be turned on and off, or off and on, or off off, or whatever. Like if breaker switches were off one night and next time and they came in the next day and they were on, yeah, and that takes a lot of energy to freaking turn on a breaker box because breaker box like switches take some effort to to to, 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 to turn on. And it's not just a simple. It's a you gotta force it. Um. And um. And here's where Raymond Allen Snowden come, comes in. He was convicted of murder and was hanged in the gallows of a uh, 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 five house. Like that's the name of the building that he was hung. I mean, he was hung in. Snowden was at a club. His wait, his victim was a girl by the by that go that goes by by the name of Cora Dean. Weird name, but yeah. Cor Cora Dean's body was found mutilated, stabbed thirty five times. And her spinal cord was severed out of her body. Raymond, that's not nice. His weapon was his own two and a half inch pocket knife, and it was found in Hannifin's cigar store 
where he supposedly went in and used the restroom after he killed this girl. A little advice, Raymond. If you kill someone, don't go into a public place and leave your, your knife there. It doesn't take a serial killer to, to, to know that shit. But uh, Snowden was hung in the gallows. Or in the hanging room. It wasn't actually a wooden gallows, but... But when he, when he was hung, it went wrong. Whenever he got dropped, it didn't instantly kill him. It took up to 15 minutes for him to strangle to death. Imagine that. Imagine getting hung and not instantly dying and just hanging there until you just slowly suffer and die. Slowly suffer and die. That's... Wow. Um... And, uh, uh, Zach didn't say much about this guy, but the last guy that got executed in the penitentiary, his name, his nickname was Jack the Ripper. They never actually gave a full name, unless his real name is Jack, Jack, Jack the Ripper, which that's pretty cool. But, um, in the gallows that eventually got moved outside, there's a giant hill outside of the, the penitentiary that you can see into, but you have to go up a decent amount of ways. And, um, uh, and families would bring their children up on, up on to, 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 to top of those hills and watch people get home. And that was a form of entertainment, and they would make events out of that. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, and so Zach and the crew made their way up the, the mountain where it's said to be a lot of snakes. And Zach picks up a snake and faces his fears. <laughs> And then he runs away a little, like, like, like a little bitch. I'm kidding, Zachary. You're not a little bitch. You're a. Uh, you're awesome. You're, 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 you're my man. If you're watching this, you are my 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 my, my man. But um, yeah. <laughs> now for for the investigation part, there wasn't much to say. But what I'm gonna have to say is a lot. Um. Before they even actually put on their, their, their night vision cameras, they, they, they heard screams and laughter coming from the Rose Garden, where the news reporter and the ghost hunter were. Um, whenever Aaron went into the, the shower room, the ex-camera that, that was beside him caught a shadow pass by him. And as soon as, he passed, as soon as that shadow like passed by him, Aaron said he felt his water bottle in, in his back pocket get, lift, get lifted up and sat back down, like a little tug up and down. Uh... Nick was in saw Nick was in saw solitary confinement, like also known there as Serbia, and uh, he got an EVP saying, "Hey, say what?" And whenever he he left, he 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 left a a, a X camera there, and they caught a slamming of a door sound. <laughs> uh, Nick captures a random like unexplained voice when 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 he continues his like his investigation, and in the end, I'll tell you what that voice was. Um, Zach eventually sat in front of Snowden's cell. He feels something go up his arm. And then the ex, and then he has a camera sitting beside the actual ex, the ex camera that takes a picture of him every sixty seconds or every minute. And uh, one of the pictures shows sh shows a black mist hovering above him. Is that Raymond Snowden? Who knows? Um. Crew, the crew does an ITC experiment. If you don't know what, what ITC is, it's instrumental trans communication. Uh, and if you don't know what, what that is, it's where you sit a TV and a camera up within three feet, like like of each other, and um, take AV cables and go and, and take the AV cables from the camera to to the TV, and it makes the t the TV see what's inside the 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 the, the camera whenever it. Does its thing. I don't really know like what to call it, but it makes constant flashing images, like a thousand flashes per per second on the TV, and you record the TV from three, from three feet three feet away, and the um, spirits can manifest their energy within it and show themselves. Well, in one of the frames, was a pit was a little dark sil sil silhouette figure of a man that had an extended long neck. And your neck gets long and slim after you get hung. Did they catch Raymond Snowden twice? 
Uh, after the after the whole investigation itself, they head back to see the now late Debbie and Mark Constantino. You will be missed, by the way. Um, the unexplained EVP that Nick caught, Debbie thinks it says, not my life, I'm okay. Two tones, two, 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 two voices, so two, 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 two spirits. He goes, not my life, I'm okay. And uh, the ITC figure with extended neck, Mark says that he would con con consider a holographic image, which is practically a silhouette, which is, which is a a really good half-bodied apparition or a full-bodied like apparition, but with a lot less details. Practically, what a silhouette or, or, or a holographic image is. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for this overview on Ghost Adventures, Idaho State Penitentiary. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I got people, I got people, idol, crossover, wars, angry, sad, every. Why are you angry?